Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. I was recently browsing Upwork for ideas for demo projects and found this. This is a university project of IT faculty and it's about investors and brokers and their portfolios with assets. And I thought it could be a good example of a pretty typical project with a few roles. In this case, it's investor broker, but it could be different roles like users, accountants or whatever, and some interactions between them. That interaction is in this case portfolio with assets. And this project is not about filament or even about Laravel. The names of the fields are not standard Laravel, but I decided to create that as an example of what can be done with filament for such multi-role functionality. The functionality isn't that important, but I will kind of summarize it to you. I will put that PDF and link that in the description below as well. But basically, brokers can register and add their portfolio assets like stocks, as I imagine, or something like that. And then investors can register and choose the brokers and add their assets into investor portfolio. Pretty simple. But from role's point of view, there are two main solutions, two main ways how to achieve that in terms of filament. Should it be one panel with roles? or it could be multiple panels, which was introduced in the Filament 3. And we implemented both versions in our filamentexamples.com. Here you can see two premium projects, broker versus investor in single panel or in multiple panels. And in this video, I will show you kind of the main meat, the main logic of those two solutions, single versus multiple panels. First, the single panel, I will show you how it works and then I will dive into the code. So someone signs up for an account, there's a one single URL of slash admin, and then we use fake filler Chrome extension and choose broker. As a role, sign up and we have assets. Let's add any asset. In this case, it's just a string, nothing really fancy. Then let's log out and let's sign up as investor. With this role, we sign up and then we can add a portfolio choosing from the brokers. Imagine, for example, this one we create and then we add the assets. Actually, the system automatically adds the assets from that broker into the portfolio of the investor. And this all happens within the same panel of filament. So brokers cannot see portfolios, they see only assets and investors see only their portfolios, but cannot see the assets or brokers here on the menu. How does it look in the code? First, in the admin panel provider of filament, we specify our own register class, which implements a new radio choice for the roles this one. So then we fill in role ID for the user. And then in the resources, we have asset resource and portfolio resource in the same folder. If we take a look at asset resource, there's a form and there's a table. And there's also eloquent query, kind of like a multi-tenancy by broker. And portfolio resource, also a form, choose the broker with some select logic. And then there's a table. So nothing really fancy here. What is important is policy. So how the roles work, asset policy is user role name broker and vice versa, portfolio policy, role name of investor. Of course, it could be implemented more complicated way if you have more roles and permissions or use Spotty permission package or any other package like Bouncer and then you would have more complex like role and permission structure. But this is kind of the core functionality offered by Filament. This is exactly what I wanted to demonstrate with these demo projects. Policies power the roles in this case. And this is within the single panel. Now, multiple panels. In this multiple panel case, we actually have three panels, not two. One panel is handling global login and registration. And then based on the role, the user is redirected to broker or investor panel. So we have slash login as a common URL for both. And then again, they sign up for the account, similar form of choosing investor or broker. So let's do exactly that. We choose broker, we sign up, and then we have a special slash broker admin panel. And even here we have broker and different colors. How it's implemented in the code, you can dive deeper if you purchase the full example of filamentexamples.com. In here, I want to focus on the roles and panels. So this is the broker panel with the same functionality of assets. And then I sign out. I land on the same slash login, sign up for an account, fake filler with investor now, and now a different panel with a different set of colors, investor here, and only portfolios menu item and the URL slash investor slash 
portfolios. So this is allowed by filament. You can create multiple panels. If we take a look at the documentation of configuration, there's creating a new panel. So you just run this command and then register your new panel provider in Bootstrap providers in Laravel 11 or config app in Laravel 10. So this is exactly what we're doing here. There's a broker panel provider, then there's investor panel provider, and both are registered in the file of bootstrap providers in Laravel, as well as separately auth panel provider, which is kind of optional. This is the third layer that we came up with, with unified login and register form, but that's not necessarily how you can do this. You can have a separate landing page pointing to, for example, slash broker or slash investor, and then people choose which panel to start with, and each panel has their own login and registration logic with their own customizations. In this case, we have a common auth panel provider with path of empty. That's why we don't have slash admin in the URL. And then the same registration class with customizing the role. And then also what we customize is the responses after registration, which happens in app HTTP responses, login response and register response, which extends the registration response by filament. So where to redirect user after the login or after registration we have users panel function method in the user model with match by name and get that URL where to redirect to and then we need to register those response classes login response in register response in the main app service provider of Laravel like this as this app singleton. So we're overriding the filament login response and registration response with our own classes, which actually extend the same classes, but add the logic of two response as we need. And then each panel has its own kind of namespace and filament broker and filament investor folders. So this then happens separately in app filament broker and app filament investor resources. Those are separated and also there's access thing. So in the user model, the function of can access panel checks the role again to avoid someone with investor role landing on slash broker or vice versa. So yeah, this is kind of the main logic of single versus multiple panels. That's what I wanted to show you. Of course, there are multiple ways to achieve and implement same things on Laravel level and filament level, but this is our version with my team of developers working on filamentexamples.com. So we will keep releasing new projects. At the moment, there are 68, 20 of them are free snippets and you can purchase filament example this is a one-time purchase then you get access to the github repository with currently available projects and everything we will release in the future and i will try to summarize the main things from filament examples on this youtube channel as well in these short videos so subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't yet that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos